Hey, what's up guys? Matt Schiffer with American Made Exotics here. Um, in the incubator, I've got a quick update video. So we're on clutch number 12 here at question. It's a, a het sunset that was bred to a sunset entry. And I'm at a point now where I have clutch 15 pippin, clutch 13 pippin, and these were laid a few days after this clutch. And then these guys are now on day 61. It was a five egg clutch and three of the eggs went bad. And these two that are left are still not pipped. So day 61, I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys a snip and just make sure that um, there's not an issue with them. And if they don't have an egg tooth, they still make it and give them a chance. Um, I don't like cutting eggs without something in the clutch pipping, but considering three of them already went bad uh, in incubation within like a couple of days of being in here. Um, and these two did make it so far since we're on day 61. Um, my stuff usually starts pipping day like 58 to 60. So we're a little past the threshold of where things are here. So I'm gonna go ahead and give them a snip and just make sure they have every chance they can to hatch. But let's go ahead and candle them and make sure there are no veins we hit. It's in there, it's normal. And that one's normal as well. So they look good, they, they look like they're healthy. Um, so we'll see if they come out 200% head sunsets. But uh, I'd like to see more eggs to increase my odds of hitting a visual. Can't really rule it out off two eggs, but it's kind of a bummer because it's a female that I bought. I didn't produce it. And last year I had, I got a decent sized clutch from visual to het and I made zero visuals. It was all normals. Said something to the person I purchased it from and they assured me like, oh, it's a het. But they said they bred it to something not even sunset related. So they didn't even have a chance to make visuals with it. So they told me to try again this year and I did. Um, so I really was hoping just to see a visual to know that like the girl was actually a het sunset, but uh, that's why I'm always hesitant to buy hets from people that don't have like a a, a very well known reputation or something or somebody that I know personally, because um, like I can't rule it out. It could just be bad odds. Uh, it might not be a head sunset though, but we'll try again next year and hopefully get a bigger clutch and see what happens. Maybe they'll come out with a shed test for the sunset and we can shed test that female, but it might just be a very expensive normal that we keep breeding to a sunset, but we'll figure it out next year, hopefully. Um, I'll be back with an update when these come out the egg, and hopefully they're both healthy babies at least, and maybe they're girls, and uh, I'll be back with an update. Appreciate you watching. All right, guys, this is 23 BPC12, which was a sunset entry and a sunset that we bred to a girl that we bought as a het sunset. Um, this is the second year in a row that we've not made a visual with her though. But two eggs, I mean, it definitely could be bad odds. Um, three of the eggs went bad in incubation. But it's a decent sized clutch last year and no visuals as well. So we'll have to see. They're at least 100% head sunset because the male was an entry sunset and a sunset. So that's a female. And let's see, here's the other one. Again, 100% head sunset. And this one's a female as well. So, two female 100% head sunsets. Oh, better luck next year, or maybe we'll send a shed in. I saw they just got the test for sunset. So, we might be doing that just to see. But, I appreciate y'all watching. Until the next one.